Questions, questions, questions. What are Amazon questions? How can we keep track of them if we have a million SKUs? Why even answer them? Well, let's talk about it. If you don't know, if you go to the bottom of your PDP, your product detail page, scroll past your A plus content, scroll past ads, scroll past all this stuff, and right above the reviews is these customer questions and answers. Now these can come in uh, all the time. If you have lots of products, they're easy to lose track of, that's for sure. Um, why do we want to answer these? Well, people are asking about the product. We need to make sure that we're answering correctly. Anybody can answer these questions. What is the best way to light these? Hey, someone says with a match. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I use the stove. But I could answer this question if I wasn't the brand or anything. We want to make sure the correct answer is there. It's verified by the brand owner. You'll get a little thing that says um, product uh, owner or brand owner answered the question. So how do we keep track of it and how do we uh, get all these questions answered, right? This is too much. You're not going to go to each one of our products, scroll down to the page and uh, one by one and check if there's unanswered questions. Well, we're going to use a program called bagels.io. It's actually a website, not a program. And you're just going to go into bagels.io and log in. And you're going to go to the unanswered questions lookup link. And we'll put that link in the description of this video. And that's going to bring you to this page. Now it says enter a line separated list of ASINs. So let's go to our inventory reports, inventory, inventory reports, and let's get a active listings report and download that. Request report, I already have one pre-downloaded to make the video a little bit faster here. Go ahead and download that. It's gonna be in a .txt file. It's not gonna be very helpful for us. So we're gonna to wanna to, um, go ahead and uh, import that into a Google um, sheet here and this is what you get there is a limitation on how many SKUs you can put per uh, research here so essentially um, 49 I believe is the cap what we want to do is just grab number of SKUs here and copy them or sorry ASINs and copy them and put those in there and you'll get this little report now it takes couple minutes for it to, to filter out. But what it's going to do is there's going to be an active URL for each one of these as it's trying to investigate if there's unanswered questions. Looks like per, for this particular one, there is one, Tienakaha. And when the report is finished, these little uh, clocks will change to complete and go to the bottom of this and click download CSV. And what we'll get is a nice Excel file in column B It'll tell us the number of questions that are unanswered. And we also have a direct link to the question. So if we go ahead and grab this link and copy it, paste it, we can put that into our URL. It's going to take us directly to the question for us to answer it. We don't have to go to each page and scroll down. Um, this is uh, important. You need to make sure uh, that you're answering your questions um, because you don't want a competitor coming in here and answering the questions, uh, uh, which happens sometimes, or even somebody uh, that bought the product and is using it for a different purpose or something, answering questions, make sure that you're, you have the verif as a verified seller are answering these questions. Um, and that's why it's important. Uh, I'm Jason Master Mateo with my Amazon guy, and this is another quick tip.